food lawn. And remember that Barnard's has healthy food, everything prepared in a healthy manner. They have a lot of variety, 11 different sandwiches, four soups plus the steak chili, four different salads, everything made from scratch every day, and you can do combinations. You can make up whatever combination you want to do, and you get the combo price, soup and salad, sandwich and soup, whatever it may be. Homemade desserts made every day, again, from scratch. So check it out, Barnard's Restaurant at 21st and Woodlawn. Great quality, great service, and great food that's healthy for you. The Shockers tonight shooting 55%, 54.7 on 29 of 53, 5 of 14 from 3, 35.7, and 19 of 21 from the line, 90.5%. That's the fifth time this season that Wichita State <laughs> has shot 90% or better from the line. That's never happened with any other Shocker team ever. 90% or better five times in one season. College of Charleston, 56% in the second half to finish at 47 and a half. 12 of 23 threes, 52-2, only seven of 11 from the line. Wichita State, a 32-27 rebounding advantage. They had only 12 turnovers to Charleston's 15 and 20 assists to 10. We'll get to all of the individual stats in a little bit, but one line I will read you because he's sitting here with us, Gabe Blair, Five of seven from the field, six of six from the line, 16 points, eight rebounds, two assists, two steals, one block shot, and just one turnover in 29 minutes. One of the Shockers, four scholarship seniors looking to extend their contract or their uh, season as long as possible, and uh, now you've extended it to the ultimate destination, going to New York City. Oh, yeah, man. It's, a, it's definitely a fun experience. Uh, now, we talked about it, like, pregame, like, uh, you know, we left the uh, conference tournament, man, we, and we was down, and we talked about it in the locker room. We were like, I mean, if we're going to do this, you know, we're going to do it all the way, and that's what we feel like we're doing right now. We're trying to accomplish something big. And obviously it was fun to get to play one more at home. Just a tremendous atmosphere in here. Great way to get yourself to New York City. Oh, definitely. The crowd tonight was one of the best I've seen since I've been here, and it was amazing, man. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's my last, but, I mean, if it's going to be my last, I'm glad it's going to go out like that. What you had thought it would be when you came in here, this kind of a crowd, this kind of a send-off for you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I had expected for the crowd to be packed. And then they started coming in, following in, uh, and then we came out for the jump ball, and it was just black and gold everywhere, man. Gabe, why such a big turnaround from the Missouri Valley Conference play, and actually played pretty well against Bradley, not quite as well against Indiana State, but then much more relaxed, much better, much, cr much crisper passes, higher field goal percentage. Why the change over the, the last four or five games of the season? No, I feel like, I mean, uh, sometimes with basketball, you're going to try your, uh, your hardest to play your best, but sometimes it don't work, and I just feel like... Uh, after that conference tournament loss, everybody just, just to look in the mirror and reevaluate it uh, themselves and, and, and just try to hold everybody accountable for their actions as, as far as on the court, work ethic, and making shots. And I feel like it's paying off as, as far as w the way we're playing right now. The term has been used a lot to describe you, that you bring energy to this team. And is that something that you consciously try to do, whether it's rebounding, defense, creating a loose ball, or whatever? I mean, I mean, they, uh, yeah, I try to do that, but I mean, I just feel like I play that way. I play hard, I play with passion, and some people just call it energy. I just call it playing the right way and playing with passion. So that's 